Welcome to CoreCon today for September 10th, 2019. This is the show where I break down some of the biggest stories happening in the world of core cutting right now and give you my opinion on them. If you want to learn about these stories for yourself, come up with your own opinions, I'll put a link to each story I talk about in the show notes below and as the first comment on this video in the order I talk about them. So you can read about them for yourself, leave us a comment, we'll love to hear from you. Now if you're new here, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up. It's a huge help because it lets YouTube know you enjoy what we're doing here. And hopefully we can help you break free from the high cost cable TV and still watch the shows you enjoy. Real quick, let's get started with the deals of the day today because we have a lot of news to cover. MLB.TV is free right now for all college students. You do have to verify you are a college student. There's a few different ways to do that. Details in the post. But right now you can get MLB.TV for free as the season's coming to an end. A lot of playoff races as people try to fight to get in. So check that out. Great way to watch out-of-market games um, right now for free if you're a college student. All right, let's get into the news of the day. And I got some AT&T news and I get we're all overwhelmed, but at and is doing a lot. So I'm gonna try to rush through this right now. Tell you about some of the crazy stuff at and is up to, but I'll try to move as fast as I can. Right now, first, a, an update in yesterday's story about Uverse. After I posted the video, after our story had been live for a few hours, at and hastily went and put Uverse back on their um, website. Now, this was at the top of their website, the bar where it lists all their services. They had removed it there. They put it back, but mysteriously on at and TV, their main TV landing page, when they put Uverse back, they removed at and TV now. So as of the recording of this video, things could change. Right now, at and TV now is not listed as an option on at and TV page promoting the new at and TV. You still see Uverse and DirecTV there, but you, didn't, you won't find at and TV now, which is um, kind of a strange move. It's like, okay, we're gonna put this back, but not have that. Now, uh, they still have shut down the at and Uverse social media accounts, they're gone. And there's still the documents posted online that point to by the end of this year, at and T's Uverse service will no longer be available. So that definitely does line up with what we've heard. Everything else in that post has happened, for instance, in markets with at and TV, they're no longer offering Uverse. So I still think that whole story is true, even though at and rushed to put the Uverse back on there. So we'll wait and see what happens by the end of, end of this year. Also, Disney has announced that they are in contact contract talks with AT&T and that ESPN Freeform, the Disney Channel, Disney Junior, all those channels, plus Disney-owned ABC affiliates could soon be removed from DirecTV, AT&T TV Now, and Uverse to name a few. According to Disney, um, they will be leaving soon. What does that mean? I don't know. They did not give an exact date, but they are posting warnings that talks are not apparently doing too well. They're not getting close to a deal. This would not be new for at and Both sides seem to be playing hardball. at and um, has been, they had a long blackout for CBS. They had a very long blackout for Nexstar. There's um, numerous other small um, TV affiliate companies that they're currently in blackouts with. Uh, and this has a lot to do with core cutting. Core cutting is putting pressure on these different um, companies. Disney wants more money because they're getting less money. at and is making less money, so they want to pay less money for their content. So keep a close eye on this. We will be posting updates as we learn more. I do have official statements from at and and from um, Disney in the post down in the show notes. And lastly, the at and stories. A major investor who recently purchased $3.2 billion of at and stock, Elliott Management, which is a major investment group, has made a, ma a big investment in at and says they can be worth a lot more than they currently are. And one of his main complaints is that they're screwing up the TV service. He complains they bought DirecTV at the peak. They haven't done a very good job running it, especially at and Now. AT&T TV Now, formerly DirecTV, is one of the main complaints he has about the company. He also went after Warner Media. He said they bought Time Warner. He said one of the main reasons they spent so much money was to get the, the management team, all these people with experience. Most of those people are now gone. A year later, they've all left the company. So it'll be very interesting to see what happens. He's on a war path. He's putting pressure on the board. He's putting pressure on AT&T. And being an investor with over $3 billion of stock, does give you some say in a publicly traded company like AT&T. 
It'll be very interesting to see how AT&T responds to this. They sent out a generic, you know, we take all of our investors' feedback seriously and that kind of stuff really didn't say anything. But I'd love to know, do you think that AT&T should sell DirecTV as he's pushing? Should they just say, hey, DirecTV and all this was a mistake, we'll sell it. There's been rumors that DISH, um, AT&T, may be in talks. DISH kind of put, the, um, put into that saying, no, we're really not. Uh, but that they will be open to it, to buy DirecTV and merge them, kind of like Sirius, Sirius and XM merged back in the day. Maybe have a Dish and DirecTV merger into a single company to compete against all these streaming services and to compete against Comcast and Spectrum and all those companies. So leave me a comment, let me know, are you worried about this Disney blackout for AT&T? What do you think of the pressure put on DirecTV to be sold? Do you agree that they screwed up Direct TV. Are you concerned about Warner Media? Let me know what you think. I'd love to hear from you. All right. One of the other things we talked about the best free service, according to Roku. Um, today we have a post breaking down Roku's most popular live TV streaming services. So according to Roku, they have a most popular section where you can look at the most popular channels, combination of downloads and hours watched kind of content. And according to that, Hulu, Slink TV, and YouTube TV are the most popular. In order, it goes Hulu, which may be a little deceptive because it includes on demand, but I'll get to that in a minute. Sling TV, YouTube TV, AT&T TV, which includes AT&T TV now, Philo, PlayStation View, and then Fubo at the end. Now, we don't know if it's really Hulu and the Sling TV for live TV, because Hulu's on demand content may be pushing that over. But Hulu is the fastest growing live TV service, according to all reports. Disney said that. Some independent studies have come out and said that. And that Sling TV and Hulu are neck to neck, neck to neck. Now, at this rate, Hulu will probably become the largest live TV streaming service based on subscribers. So that could be very well true. It could be very well that Hulu has jumped Sling TV for number one at this point. We'll have to wait until the third quarter numbers come out to kind of find out more about that. What I am very interested in is seeing PlayStation View at number six. Um, now, Sony was the second major live TV streaming service to go national. They have a huge, I hear you, I hear you PlayStation View fans, huge fan base, very dedicated, absolutely love it. But they haven't really done much um, recently. They never seem to get their feet underneath them to grow. And now it looks like YouTube, Sling TV, Hulu, Philo even, and at t TV now have passed them. You know, Sling TV launched first, so it may make sense for them to be number one. But when you look at Philo, YouTube TV, and Hulu, all fairly new services and at t TV now, but they all have more subscribers or, or more viewership, more downloads at Roku, the largest streaming player in the United States, according to Roku. So let me know, do you agree with this list? Does this surprise you at all? I was surprised to see Philo be over PlayStation View. We'll see. We'll also see if at t TV now continues its fall. Will Philo jump that? Will PlayStation View jump it? We'll have to wait and see. All right, so leave me a comment and let me know what you think. Next up, 75% um, of streamers, according to a survey done by PC Magazine, says they will not subscribe to Disney Plus or at t Plus or any of the other new services like the new NBC one. So there's been a lot of talk about the growing trend of all these streaming services adding up. And increasingly we're seeing studies say, hey, that's great, but you know, I have the services I'm happy with. Or another study said, hey, if I'm getting Disney Plus, I'm gonna drop something else. A lot of people talk about, hey, I may drop like an HBO Now, get Disney Plus for a while, and then switch back later, maybe when a show I want is available. So it seems like core cutters are being wise about their money. They are saying, hey, uh, I get it that there's a lot of options, but I don't need to pay for all of them. I'll get the options I want when I want them. So let me know, are you one of the 75% or are you part of the group that says I'm gonna get Disney Plus or eight Apple TV Plus? If so, let me know which one you intend to get. We'd love to hear from you. All right, some other rapid fire news real quick. Roku wants to be in half of all TVs worldwide. This week, Roku CEO, Anthony Wood, um, did a presentation and in short, he came out and said, I want Roku TVs to be, or Roku, our TV brand, to be in half of all TVs sold in the United States or and around the world. 
Right now, I think there are about a third of all TVs, one in three smart TVs in the United States now run a Roku OS, sold last year, uh, and now they're expanding into Europe. They're already in other markets like, uh, Ro like Mexico and Canada. So it'll be very interested, interesting to see how Roku continues that expansion. Now, let me know, what do you think of this move? Um, smart TVs are kind of one of those love it or hate it things. Some people absolutely love them. Some people hate them because they're worried they'll become outdated. One thing I've liked about Roku and the Amazon Fire TVs is even if the TV manufacturer stops supporting it, Roku keeps updating their software. So you keep getting the latest channels and more. So let me know what you think of that. But Roku's putting their foot down saying TVs are gonna be one of our main focus. We, we wanna be in half of all smart TVs out there. All right, next story up of the day, BET Plus, which is Viacom's newest streaming service, um, is coming out and will cost next week, Thursday, and will cost $9.99 a month. This new service um, uh, will launch September 19th to be exact. So this will be a huge undertaking by Viacom. They really think that they can build on the BET brand to bring exclusive content streaming online. Now the good news here is for um, fans of the Pluto TV BET channel, Viacom was very clear that the Pluto TV channel will remain, it will remain free. This is a digital, uh, an additional content which will bring original series, past content not offered on Pluto TV and more to fans of BET. So if you're a BET fan, you may want to check out BET Plus and see if you like it. Let me know, $9.99 seems a little high for this. Um, it seems like everybody's trying to get as much as they can. It'll be interesting to see if that will work going forward. Let me know what you think. All right, yesterday, um, CBS announced that their new um, Dabble over the air network is now um, live in 109 markets and streaming free online. Includes the content from like uh, Gordon Ramsay, um, Martha Stewart, and more. It's kind of a cross between the cooking channel and HGTV, kind of a lifestyle channel. Uh, I did not see any dedicated apps launch yesterday, uh, like Roku, Apple TV, or Fire TV, but keep an eye on them. They are doing a free stream on their website, which makes me think that they'll probably come out with a app so you can watch on your smart TV, similar to what Comet did and more. So let me know if you find anything like that. Let me know if you watch Dabble um, and what, what you think. I do have a list of all the over the air markets, all 109 of them that's live in right now in our post down in, in the show notes down below. All right, uh, and last story up of the day. Yesterday, um, Sling TV sent Core Cars News an official statement saying that they believe it is unlikely it will be bringing back the Fox, Fox Regional Sports Networks. They said Sinclair, who now owns the Fox Regional Sports Networks, has made unreasonable demands in pricing, and that at this point, they just don't feel it's worth it to make their customers pay for that, that much money for a channel. In their words, not that many people really watch. So if you're a Sling TV subscriber, hoping the Fox Regional Sports Networks will be coming back, bad news, that's probably not happening. So leave me a comment, let me know what you think of this. Does that change your opinions? I would encourage you to read the statement from Sling TV that's available in the show notes down below in the post. I thought it was very interesting. So read it for yourself, leave us a comment what you think. Hey, don't forget today, Apple at 10 a.m. Pacific will be having their big event. We will be live on blogging it over at corecardnews.com and I'll have a video here afterwards with everything we know. But make sure to check out corecardsnews.com so you don't miss any of the big breaking news that Apple has today. So thank you everybody for your support. I really appreciate it. I will see you tomorrow. Take care everybody. And don't forget tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern, we will be live here answering your core cutting related questions for about an hour. Thanks everybody. Take care. I will see you tomorrow.